Well, working from home the last six months, a lot of us are spending a lot more time on email. Well, what that means is we're going to be a lot more hackers out there trying to get into our emails. So we've got some help for you from a cyber cybersecurity expert, David DeFore. He's joining us right now. David, look, this is something everybody's dealing with now because we're all doing a lot more emailing. And uh, what kind of new phishing scams are you seeing out there? Uh, well, Curtis, you're absolutely right. Year over year, we've seen a 34% increase in the amount of email. I, I didn't think that was possible. Um, but, but and the scams are really falling into a few buckets. One of them, COVID related. I don't think anyone would be surprised, you know, getting false information or, or people pretending they're the World Health Organization. Um, we're seeing uh, emails, uh, malicious emails that include links uh, to fake Zoom meetings, go to meeting, you know, Google meetups where, where people are trying to uh, get you to click a link to install something to, to a fake meeting that happens to be malware. And then we're also seeing an uptick in, in, in malicious actors trying to get you to enter banking information, saying they can get you your stimulus check faster, things of that nature. Yeah, there's so many opportunities for these hackers out there. Why do you think more people are falling victim to these, though? Well, you, you know, the, the world's changed, obviously. That, that's an understatement, the last six to seven months. And with so many people working from home, kids aren't in school, they're at home as well. We're not able to focus like we were before um, at work. And so, you know, there's a lot of distractions, there's a lot of urgency and things that are happening. And so we're seeing a lot of, uh, of it simply being the volume of emails coming in and then people not being able to pay attention like they would have in the past, you know, when they're in that work setting saying, why, why would somebody send me this email? And so we've just got to be more vigilant and pay attention to these emails that are coming in. All right, you said there was a, I read there was a new report out there. What were some of the findings that surprised you? Yeah, that's exactly right. We did a report with the University of Washington. Uh, they, they have an expert there on human behavior and, and technology. And so a lot of the things we found, we found 95% of the respondents were familiar with what phishing emails were. So, so that's good. People are aware of what, what phishing is. But unfortunately, 75% of the folks um, that responded had, had not necessarily fallen victim to phishing, but were opening emails uh, more readily from people they didn't know. Because of that work from home and the increase in email volume, people are, are, are opening more emails. And, and that is a numbers game the cyber criminals look for, because if you're opening more emails from, from people you don't know, potentially you're gonna click the link inside that email. So it's all about that behavior um, um, that, that they're getting you to, to open these. So we've got to be vigilant. We've got to slow down. We've got to pay attention. And we've got to question what we're seeing in an email rather than just clicking on a link. Well, that's what I was going to ask you as we wrap up here. What are some ideas on how people can avoid these? Yeah, definitely, instead of clicking links in the email, navigate to the website. Open the browser, navigate. If it's a store making an offer, maybe go to the store and see if they'll give you the offer there. But clicking the link inside those emails are always dangerous, and, and, and that's where the, what, what the malicious actor is trying to get you to do. So just you know, break that chain. All right, that sounds good. Where can our viewers go to get more information about all this? You can go to webroot.com slash click to find the information about protecting yourself against phishing and other cyber threats as well. Thanks for your time today, David. We're going to put this on the website, folks. You can check it out again. Just go to firstcoastliving.net.